Okay, here's the equipment we're going to use for this lab. First, the main thing we're going to use is this voltmeter. It's a triplet model 420. And I don't know if you can see this on the dial, but it says 1,000 ohms per volt. It's a 5 volt meter, so that would give you about 5,000 ohms of internal resistance. And we've actually measured this device, and it's written on the back of the, uh, of the case. So you can see what the actual internal resistance is. We'll call this R sub V. This is a decade box. It's really a big variable resistor, and it allows us to change the resistance just by dialing in what number we, we want, and it's precise to 1%. So we'll use this to change the, the uh, box resistant R sub B. These are hobby batteries. They're 1.5 volt cells. They're very old and they're pretty worn out. So nominally they're 1.5 volts, but these are gonna be well below that. Uh, they're basically almost dead batteries. They're not completely dead, but they're mostly dead. And because of that, because the chemical reaction is just about run out, they uh, have a very high internal resistance and we'll be able to measure that in this lab. We've got two of them, we can put those together. Here's a coin cell. This is a CR2032, I'll let you see which one it is, they're all labeled. And this one has a chemistry that has a high internal resistance just by design. It's for low current uh, uses. And so we'll try and measure the internal resistance of this device as well. We've got a switch because we don't want to leave the circuit connected. So we'll connect things up and then we'll turn the switch on and off to make measurements. And we've got a couple of, jump, a couple of jumper wires in case we want to connect things up and we don't have much. We actually have, oh, I'm sorry, a bag of, of various wires that we'll use to connect things, wiring kit. Okay.